I thought I'd start with the nail polish I'm wearing today. This one is OPI. My dog sled is a hybrid. Just like that. And then on this finger I have this one also from OPI and it's what? My voice is a little Norse. Really pretty one, but I like it together with a bigger glitter on it. So I added this uh, nail deco. It's from Beauty Care. I'm trying out this new Vamp uh, Pupa cream eyeshadow in velvet matte. All these, like, uh, it dries like so fast and becomes really like powdery feel to it, but it's really. So, powdery. what I'm doing with this, because it's so dry, like uh, it becomes really powdery, like I said. I'm taking uh, some kind of concealer and I have this concealer with from Ofra where it is also like a, a lilac color. I'm taking some of this and I'm blending it together with this cream so eyeshadow. I decided to take a bit more of the cream eyeshadow and get a little bit of a darker color. And I think I just might take a little bit with my finger like this and just stick it on. I didn't put anything else under because this is also a concealer so I don't want to make it too much, you know. Kind of, I, it, it made it a little bit more pink maybe with this uh, cream concealer, but I don't care. It's still a really bright and fun color like that. And of course this I'm gonna probably have to clean. A little bit more in the middle of the lid. Also now I'm not taking it too high up because I don't wanna, you know, have this cream concealer also like too high up. That it won't start creasing and being funny. But a little bit higher I will take it. A little bit higher here. Something like that. And kind of smooth it out because now it stays like a cream for a longer time. And probably it will stay like a little bit tacky. It doesn't dry when you have this kind of a like waxy concealer in it. These are kind of waxy. So, but yeah, but then I can actually use it like without feeling like really bad for my eyelids or something like that, which is crazy. I think together with the concealer, it's still vibrant enough for me, like it's insanely. And yeah, and then it's actually nicer to use it maybe for just for somebody who has dry eyelids and uh, you know, and doesn't want it to dry completely like a powder like that. Because it's not like a, a cream, uh, like a usual eyeshadow that you put on. It will be much lighter. This one is like completely getting stuck into all the wrinkles and stuff and then it's not the same looking, you know. But like this, it looks completely different and it definitely feels much yeah. better. I have to say all those um, Pupa and Bourjois uh, products, Revlon as well, all those products here, you usually get them 1 plus 1 or 40% or even like this I, I really bought like a, they call it like a, how you call it, like a really special price, let's say it like this. So. Yeah, then it's worth like trying out those kind of products because you never know if they're really gonna suit you. I will straightly go down here and clean it up because I don't think I want it over there. So just this Garnier Missile of Water that I start to use and I really like it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just cleaning up here because I don't want it down here. I might not want anything and this one is not easy to clean. I'm telling you after it's like, even if it's together with the, with the concealer it really pretty much gets stuck where you put it. But I don't want it out here either where it's like really wrinklish. So I'm kind of wanting to choose where I put these kind of products that are a little bit more maybe for youngest. I got this say. Surreal Violet from uh, Estee Lauder. It's a normal palette like that with uh, violets and uh, kind of a taupey color. So this one I think it's pretty close. It became kind of pinkish, pinkish violet. Yeah, more pink uh, than um, than violet, but I really like it. So I'm taking this color from here, just because of the cream. Uh, uh, I ah, I said I'm not gonna put anything on, but it's really close to it. Well, I'm gonna put it here. Let's see. It's a bit more pink. Okay, so I will leave it up here in the crease and kind of blend it out a bit higher here, just with a pink today. Nothing dark. Pressing it in, something I'm like that. I'm taking this uh, compact powder from Bourjois in number 51, just to have something to blend this um, pinkish color out that I took from Estee Lauder palette. 
I'm just around. still needs blending I'm just you know putting it there pressing it in I have a really annoying habit of saying so all the time it's really bugging me already in all these lines again I'm making it a bit darker just here in the corner just like that I think I don't want to make it too dark because I want to keep it a kind of as light look as possible I'm just, just taking this brush one again. that I use for this color up here maybe it will make this a little bit lighter if there's anything left on it I don't think so really but just to blend it in a bit I don't want this too dark just a little tiny bit here that it won't be really pink all this close to the lashes of course because I didn't want to use a heavy like a gel liner today I just wanted to have it really light like that maybe it will look a little bit more summery kind of springish well whatever just putting some color on my face because I like it. <laughs> yeah. I Something clean up like the smallest brush and I'm taking some of the pink also in the beginning of the eye down here. Pressing in some of that one to meet with this. I'm just taking the same brush again, cleaning it up a bit on the tissue. And I will take the lightest color. Ooh, that one is so powdery in the inner corner oh that's a lot too much okay I have to have another brush to blend it out with a bit taking the same brush I use for the compact powder just to fluff this white in here a bit that was a bit too much anyway I think it's needed to have a little bit of a liner just because of my blonde lashes otherwise I would definitely leave it just like this I'm grabbing this navy from Ofra. Oh, that was good. Navy, dark blue. That's better. Dark blue. Really tiny brush like that. Just a. What is this? Fine eyeliner. It's from Beauty Care. I'll just get some color really close to the lashes with it. Uh, sunscreen. This one. It's the end of it. I really like this product. But of course, it's pricey and uh, yeah. So I will probably continue with uh, the Shiseido that I'm using for years already. But this is definitely a really nice uh, sunscreen. It is though, on this one is only 30 SPF. So maybe that's what it's, why it's so smooth on the skin. And really like a moisturizer and doesn't feel like a sunscreen. Maybe that's why. Because the one I have from Shiseido is uh, 50, 50 SPF. Maybe that's why it's a bit more sunscreeny. So just a side <laughs> note here. I'm... Uh, making my own uh, lip scrub already for years and every time I remember to do it before my foundation <laughs> I'm happy yeah because it really does work and I'm using just coconut oil uh, one or two drops of lavender essential oil in it and the finest uh, granulated sugar white sugar you can find that's what I use and it's really fine like you don't feel big uh, chunky things on your lips so it's really nice just mix those together I don't remember if I used anything else uh, maybe, so, maybe some shea butter actually yeah there might be that too but it's really nice so you can definitely if you have uh, just also the coconut oil you don't need to have the shea butter but it makes it a bit more solid let's say in the summer coconut, the coconut oil becomes completely liquid so then it's a little bit of a problem to use it and uh, yeah so then the shea butter will keep it a bit more solid that it still stays like butter actually I'm going again for this BB cream from Dior this is number one and I started to think of this as really as a primer or base for me because it does take down the redness a bit even if it's a bit of a pinky shade but never mind it's light enough you know so I will use it like that Still, the fact that it doesn't have sunscreen enough bugs me because, you know, then you could just use one product. The way I believe that BB cream was meant to be, but I didn't check it when I bought this one. It's quite a while ago, actually, that I bought it, so. 
Yeah, I don't know how I missed so that. Those are the foundations. This is the Halo, and the other one is the Shiseido. So that one is definitely darker, but this one is more like a apricot color or something like that. Which is really pretty actually. And I don't think that I have any kind of peachy or apricot going on in my skin, but it's funny that it kind of sits nicely on the skin. I will be adventurous and try it with one of those duo fibers. I will just spray it with, no, I won't spray it even. I will just try it like this, dip it in here and dot it on. See what will become of this mix. <laughs> I don't know, I just like trying different things like uh, with the foundation. It's not often that I stay with a, you know, even if I like something like I want to go through what I have also. So I'm kind of trying all kinds of things. Then I will just take the damp sponge. Under my eyes I'm taking this time a scalp from Dior. It's kind of the end of it, but you know, there still is enough. And it's so nice for the under eye, like very gel cream like and smoothing I think. I got this uh, sample from Dior. It's a Dior Skin Forever Compact sample and this one is probably a bit dark <laughs> usually usually things are a bit dark i don't really see a color here how come beige clear okay so it's a zero 020 light beige usually i use number 10 from dior in everything so it could be a bit dark i will just give it a go. And I suppose for many people out there, I'm probably, if they would see my brows and, you know, know how little I actually do with them, they would probably think like, oh, she's crazy. She doesn't, you know, do a frame for her face and all this stuff. But I just, I, I'm so tired of seeing those perfect brows out there. Like I'm kind of, I'm not going to have those. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of impossible to make them perfect, but you know, mine brows. So I'm taking this Il Maquillage Brow Pen, which is really nice, but I said it before, there's almost nothing in those. So, kind of a waste of money if you ask me, even if they're nice to use. But it's for short, such a short time, you know. So, not really worth it in my opinion. Nevertheless, every now and then I go back if there's a really big, you know, sales on them. Which it was, so that's why I decided to get this pen again, even if it's that way exactly. Doesn't last for very long. It's like you take out, whatever I take out will be gone after I'm done with two brows, you know. It's kind of ridiculous, really. And on it, just a spoolie down, up. I know, I need to do my brows again. It's crazy. How oh, fast they grow out. I wish this part would grow that fast. <laughs> Probably does grow, you know, but when you wait for something. So here, just this Maybelline, which I really like this slightly colored brow gel. I'm using this peach from uh, Sisley, it's number one and it is very light so if you're fair skinned it might be doing a bit more like really fair skin for me it tends to be a bit I don't know not showing up much but I suppose that's the whole idea with it so there it goes does it show I don't think so but I would put some more on the brush oh it does show a little bit but that's definitely after I uh, Bull Charlie off. planner in number one. Is this number one? Yeah. Just a slight pinky color. Pinky nude. On those crooked lips.
on top of this, I'm using this uh, Estee Lauder NV lipstick in Impulsive 210, which is a really pretty nude, kind of like the lip pencil. A little bit lighter, maybe. So that's kind of it. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Here it just, I need to put the hair down. The hair down. My fringe over half the face at least. A bright look, but kind of simple at the same time. That's what I think. So, hmm. Really summery feel to this, I feel. All those pinky, lilac -y colors really feel like summer. And it starts to be really hot like summer too. Of course, since but I didn't I set it under eye, it's creasing now. Uh, I'm still not gonna set it. <laughs> I'm just not gonna set it today. So that's it. Uh, really fresh, kind of lilac pinky. I look pinky. <laughs> that doesn't sound good, but yeah, that kind of look. And it feels really spring-like to me. Kind of summery to here today here. Like really hot. We're definitely getting there. So hope you have a really good start of May in every way and still enjoying your colors and uh, thanks again for watching. I don't know if it's just me. I feel like I have like dark things going on here. It must be the lighting because why should I have dark circles on me? <laughs> well, I'm using a little bit of this uh, Dior Skin Flash. Which is supposed to be an eye brightener or whatever brightener where you want it. I blotted since I got back because it was really like oily all over I would say. But it's a really hot day here so. Anyways, um, now after that taking just a tiny bit of this. Powder again, it's a really nice powder, I have to say, compact powder. So it gives some coverage now where after the blotting I kind of get a little bit red every time because it takes, oh, it takes out the, you know, some of the foundation as well. So I'm going over a little bit here in the middle. And maybe a tiny bit here on the side. The blush is still in place. Because very Actually, I thought to continue this look now. A little bit. Like I can, huh? <laughs> of course I can. Yes. So I got, instead of one of these um, uh, Pupa cream eyeshadows in pink, I exchanged it uh, and I got one of these uh, palettes. I added just a tiny little bit and I got this palette. Because the prices are really like really down so i want to try and continue this look using this palette a bit i will use some of this uh, really it really sent kind of neony pink in the inner i corner. have to say for a long time i didn't buy anything from pupa except for this highlighting stick like a few months back but these eyeshadows are really really pigmented and smooth and they call it kind of a gel to powder thing, like all these are doing, all the brands are doing nowadays. So, really smooth. And I'm adding a little bit more just because it's so freaking And then I will take this um, lilac one and put it here on top of the cream eyeshadow and see what that looks like. Because I just want to check it out. And see, maybe it will change the color of it, maybe it won't change the color of it. So I'm taking some of that one. And I'm packing it on here. Actually, it should change the color. Oh, it's gorgeous. It makes it more like the real color from the cream eyeshadow because I mixed it together with a concealer, so it changed the color a bit. And this actually makes it more vibrant again, which is really neat. Yay. That's what I was hoping for. this uh, yellowy gold color just here in the middle. Or the inner corner, I mean that it won't be too pinky maybe in the end. Just continue, why not? Because they go so well together. 
I'm grabbing some of this apricot color, peachy apricot, apricot I suppose, and I'm damming it on here. Ooh. They all have kind of sheen to them, yeah, I don't know if it's the best to put here, but ah, I will just go for it. Maybe not all of it. And then the same brush and just let it go in there. Maybe for summer look it's okay to have some sheen up here too. Let me just take this one. <laughs> also under eye. All the way. On the lips I will add a little bit of this Smashbox um, orangey. Anyway, peachy color. I really enjoyed the mix of this um, Pupa Vamp Velvet Matte uh, Cream Eyeshadow in this uh, gorgeous lilac color. But I blend it with um, a concealer that's a little bit uh, lilac also kind of a waxy concealer from Ofra and then I got a little bit more of a tacky or smooth let's say finish to it not so drying it's probably better for really like oily eyelids for young young uh, girls and uh, with you know more oily eyelids but if you use it like this you can use it when you look almost 50 <laughs> why not and also I like this palette with all the bright summer colors and you can just use some of them and then you know you don't have to use all five remember that you don't have to use all five in one time which I didn't use not a neon or acid kind of green which is kind of awesome as well which can be really nice with a darker darker um, violet I think so I will use it in a different kind of look but yeah I really like this this combination and the brightness that it gives like it really brightens the whole face how can it not <laughs> so anyway this was just a like a little bit of a upgrade to the first look from the morning and yeah also because it started creasing so you know it's kind of safe though with the eyeshadow it wasn't that bad and yeah so enjoy your week enjoy may and all your gorgeous spring colors as well thanks for watching